After every flight, the team also goes through a critical debriefing process, which they consider as important as the actual flight itself. They hash out what worked, what didn't, and no punches are pulled. We are wide open as we can possibly be to criticisms, and we want to become our own worst critics. We debrief everything. I'll tell you how specific it gets. We even debrief the march uh, to our airplanes and the march back, so, and, and you get picked on for every little thing. And most of us haven't marched in 10 years of being in the Navy, so uh, they get very, very specific. The debriefing process takes probably twice as long as the flight took itself. Rank doesn't come into play, uh, experience levels, those are good, but you have to set those aside when the criticism starts to come because that's the only way you're going to learn the maneuver and that's the only way you're going to get to where the maneuver looks good and it's safe. I think I was a little bit late dropping you guys off, so we're a little low going over the crowd. But uh, other than that, smooth air was nice, so a little bumpy in the spots, but uh, glad we went flying, glad to be here. Bye. Sure, boss. I'm glad we went flying too. Uh, turned out nice. And I had a couple safeties on the line of or the left echelon flat pass coming over. I didn't acknowledge the go diamond call. Just concentrating on where to where I was going and my how quick my movement was going to be. And I was uh, 20 feet low on the loop break, low break cross, uh, 280 feet, and uh, I can fix all those things. So glad to be here. All these things are called safeties. There's things that were safety problems or violations from our standards. I had uh, safety coming back in. For some reason, I thought we were going right 45s to, to park. And uh, then I even called turning left when we were turning right. So uh, it went pretty, good. went pretty good for me up until we got there. I was just happy to be here and <laughs> glad to be here. We have a term that we use, glad to be here. And the term is, uh, I'm Pat Rainey, uh, the, an average pilot, literally. And I'm no kidding, just lucky enough to be in the blues. And that, that's where that term comes from, to the boss, hey, I'm glad to be here. Because there's guys out in the Mediterranean Sea tonight, out in the Persian Gulf, landing on a ship at, at, at night, taking care of us. And so uh, I, I kind of carry a little bit of, of the fleet with me so guys can walk around and say, hey, look, it's the Blue Angels, they represent us. We have really good tapes, uh, videotapes that we look at, and the tape can be stopped, it can be reversed, slowed, uh, played back, and we do a lot of that, and uh, that's how we get toward the levels of uh, performance that we want. We have two critiquers on the ground that look at the maneuvers and tell us uh, their impressions basically from where the maneuvers were placed and uh, how it looked to them. You guys did a good job, but that placement looked really well today for, for the conditions. Glad to be here, boss. Uh, get a nice one-plane look before the center point, and an okay off. When we make these mistakes and we fess up to them, and we do it every time we fly, it's just an extremely important aspect of, uh, of what we do. What we do after we've said it is, I made this mistake and I'll fix it. You always say that you're going to fix it, and what that leaves the rest of us with a feeling is that you've recognized your mistake and you're going to take corrective action not to let it happen again. So. It doesn't drop our confidence level in another person in the formation. If you don't take it seriously and don't debrief, if you ever get complacent, you're going to kill yourself or you're going to kill somebody else. Now, you've got to be able to learn each and every time you go flying because there's never been the perfect flight demonstration yet that the Blues have ever put on. So we're always looking to perfect it. All that preparation continues to pay off, and the team wanted to be at their best for the upcoming tour of Europe. The Blues may never fly the perfect air show, but it sure is fun watching them try.